up, you guys? It's Stephanie here, and Brittany's over there. She's here. She's here. She promises. Um, so she did a 15 facts about herself. So basically, I'm gonna do a 15 facts about myself. But before that, guys, if you like this video, like our channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share our videos. Come on, guys, share them. You know you like them. If you like them, go share them too. You know, wink, wink. But like comment subscribe share our videos comment anything you guys want to see let us know about that we have a lot of stuff coming for you guys we're very excited she's nodding over there yeah we're really excited this summer about to be lit it's about to be lit all <laughs> 2019 for real yeah like i already have ideas i have plans we have plans it's gonna be good i'm about to get a camera so we can vlog and stuff so it's gonna be real good and we have some surprises up our sleeve too some new mm -hmm. conversations that we've been talking about so we might really have a good summer mm -hmm. so stay tuned for all that but also ignore the background of my family i know we say this every single video <laughs> i just want to make that i look like shane dawson today like who am i okay that's all i have to say so i guess i should probably get into the video Okay, so I just bought this shirt at Forever 21. I went to the mall with my friend, and I bought like six shirts. Cool. I think it's too big, but I kept it except with the tag off. Okay, anyways, all right. Steph is nervous by herself. That's I am. Crying. Oh, I put this lamp. This is this is Brittany in spirit right here. <laughs> Come here, Brit. Okay, so the first fact about me is I'm a vegetarian. I've been a vegetarian for five years now, I think. It's been about five years. Um, yeah, it's been fun. It's been great. I love it. Would recommend. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. And I guess my second fact is my birthday. My birthday just passed. I don't know why I'm going like this. Hi, Brittany. My f birthday just passed. Oh, my God. She's getting notifications on her screen, and it's distracting me. <laughs> No Yahoo scam service is get away from me. Okay, my birthday is March 22nd. I just turned 21, so you guys could guess what year that was, whatever. Cool. Lit. My third fact is I really, really want to learn Spanish. I know you wouldn't guess by looking at me, but I am indeed half Mexican. My grandparents are from Mexico. That's cool. I can't speak a word of Spanish. I almost failed um, Spanish in high school. Fun fact about me. I almost failed Spanish in high school because I didn't know what was going on the whole time. I was, like, good at it until I wasn't because the teacher, like, stopped teaching us. Like, I don't know what was going on in her life. But after she came back after having her baby, like, she would just give us worksheets and stuff, put on movies like normal teachers do. Like, she used to be so interactive and stuff and, like, made it fun. But when she came back, she just, like, didn't care anymore. And... I stopped doing my work because I was like, I don't know what's going on. Like, you just hand me a worksheet and tell me to do it. I don't know. Like, you didn't even give us a lesson on this. Like, I don't know. Everyone was like, Google and like, cheat. And I was like, I'm not even going to bother. Like, whatever. Pass with a D. Thank you. Or a C. I can't remember. Okay. My favorite color to wear is burgundy. Like, literally all of my wardrobe is like black and burgundy. And that's it. And like some red. But that's it, really. This is bold for me. It's like pink. But I usually, I usually go for black, burgundy, anything dark, really. That's my jam. Mm -hmm. Brittany's like, this is so cringy. I know it's so cringy. I know. I know you don't have to tell me. I'm calling the police. I've been saying this all day. And I keep sending, like, gifts of it. Like, I'm calling the police. Call the police. It's an emergency. Like, I just keep... <laughs> my favorite fast food place is Taco Bell. I always talk about Taco Bell. I yeah. love Taco Bell. Taco Bell is it's the light. shit. Taco Bell is light. And literally, their beans, their rice, their potatoes, vegan. So you could literally make anything on their menu, vegan or vegetarian, depending on what you need it to be. You want a bean burrito, you can get a no cheese, no sour cream. Vegan. I could get freaking a cheesy bean rice burrito, which is my shit. A cheesy potato little girl, boom, vegetarian. 
I love Taco Bell. Like, I don't care what anyone says about Taco Bell. I know it's not real Mexican food. Obviously, I eat real Mexican food often. But it's just cheap, it's fast, it's easy. And, like, when you go out with people, because, like, when you're vegetarian, it's hard to go out with people sometimes. Like, it's so convenient because you actually have choices, which is crazy. Because you have to, like, if you go... I just keep looking at myself because there's stuff flying past my face. No, if you go to, like, some places, like, you can't even eat anything, like, off their menu. You know what I mean? Or you have to get, like, fries or, like, a salad. Like, I can make a salad for, like, a dollar. Why am I going to pay $6 for a salad and I have to, like, not get it with, like, chicken and stuff and it's still going to be, like, the same rate? Like, no. Like, I'm not about it. So Taco Bell is a vegetarian and vegan's best friend. Like, they're the most, like, inclusive restaurant. Like, I love it. Um... This one is weird, and no one agrees with me or understands me, but, like, I prefer the taste of, like, diet soda over the taste of regular soda. If given the choice, I will get diet soda all the time. Like, I still only drink diet soda for, like, bad reasons, like calories, you know, you gotta get like, not eating cool, whatever, cool. I'm gonna pass that stuff. But, now, I just like the taste of it better. Like, I want Coke Zero. I want Diet Root Beer. Like, I don't... I want Diet Dr. Pepper. Like, I don't want it if it's regular. Like, it just doesn't taste... It doesn't taste the same. But I like it better. It's weird. It's weird. And I think I'm the only one. I've never met anyone with that opinion. So, if you have that opinion, let me know down below. Because even, like, diet... Like, I'll get, like, Zero Sugar Powerade or Gatorade or, like... Yeah, like, I just like the diet stuff better for some reason. Like, I don't know. Like, the artificial sweet is, like, just hits different. Like, I don't know. It hits different. That's what she <laughs> said. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. Oh, this ties into my next one. Fact number seven. I am bisexual. Is that a secret? This is, they're just facts about me. Like, I've said this 20 times. Yeah. Right? Like, I feel like sexuality is definitely a spectrum. And I feel like... It's hard for someone to be like a boom or a boom. Like, you know, like I can never say I'm a hundred percent sure. She knows she be like it how I look. No, I'm just kidding. Girl. Bernie and me are like sisters. Like <laughs> wow. I'll make jokes with her because I know she knows that I don't mean it weird. You know what I mean? No, don't make that face. Don't make that face. Just say she should. I don't know. Yeah, we can never do anything in peace in this house. Yeah. And sorry we have to go vlog. Go out in places but yeah like I don't know like I've just always kind of known like ever since I was little but I didn't really tell anyone until like after high school because it was something I struggled with for a long time but now I feel like the whole world knows everyone knows I have flags in my room like you know that's cool I'm here for it my favorite actual color not my favorite to wear because like pale stuff like doesn't work because I'm pale but my favorite color is lavender I've always wanted lavender hair like anything lavender like, I like it, like, furniture, blankets, paint. Like, I want to repaint my room because it's, like, pastel pink. I want pastel purple. Like, I just, like, that's my favorite color of all time. But I don't like wearing it because it wouldn't look great, like, on me. So, there's that. And then the next one, I don't know why I'm looking at my list. Like, I didn't write this down. Like, I prefer gold over silver, but I always tend to, like, wear silver or buy like silver stuff for like my room and stuff but I like gold more but I just never because I feel like I don't see gold enough like if I was trying to do like a like a purple and gold theme in my room like I don't feel like I'd find a lot of like metal stuff or candle holders and stuff that'd be silver or like gold like silver like I feel like everybody just buys silver like I always buy silver but I like gold more but I never wear it or buy it I know I'm so exciting by myself guys I'm so sorry I'm so relatable and quirky like <laughs> okay I don't know what that was <laughs> sorry got it <laughs> okay um I love botany botany if you guys don't know is like plant biology like I love anything plants like I have a bunch of plant books in my house so if you ever want to see them or have me go into nature and like point at plants because I would do that I would like read like plants like wild plants and like go into like the forest and like oh this is this plant this is so if you're actually curious about that nerdy shit like I got you fam so I could definitely do that one day and then next one I love all animals 
and I love my pets, like my cats and my dogs and stuff. I've had birds and fish and stuff. But my the pet I want more than anything, like one day, like my dream pet is to have a bunny. I love bunnies. I know my dog would probably smother it and that would be a good environment for it because he just, he gets too hyper. He plays too much. Like, I don't think he would try to kill it, but you know, you know, it might get hurt. It might get hurt. He'll probably just sit on it. Like he tries to sit on the cats. So fact number 12, my dad is my best friend. He has always been my best friend. Like I could go to him about anything. He will always just listen to me and just be supportive. And we hang out together. Like, he's my best friend. We go on hikes, we go on bike rides, we go exercise together, we go out to eat together, we go to movies together, we go shopping all the time together. Like, we always just find excuses to, like, hang out and stuff. Like, that's my bestie. I don't even care. And then, I am the middle child. I have a little brother, he's a year younger than me, and then I have an older brother, and he's four years older than me. Like, I'm right, like, in the middle. And I was the girl, so I was, like, the middle girl. Like, ain't nobody ever pay attention to me. But that's okay. I'm not salty about it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite book is That Was Then, This Is Now by Essie Hinton, the girl who wrote The Outsiders. Everybody loves The Outsiders, but I feel like her other books were way more interesting. Because in high school, because we read The Outsiders in 8th grade. So in high school, like, I went to the library, like, the school library, and they had, like, all her books. And then... Like, that one's my favorite. Like, it hits harder than The Outsiders. Like, it's, like, really good. I really recommend you read it. That's my favorite book of all time. I used to say it was The Outsiders until I read That Was Then, This Is Now. And I have it. My friend got it for me for my birthday. It's my favorite book. I do not care. And this is my last fact. I know I'm so interesting, right? Okay. For the longest, even still now, like, I always tell myself, like, I'm going to learn the guitar and I want to learn how to play the guitar and stuff. Like, my, I, like, my family's, like, full of musicians and artists and I have, like, neither ability. But I can play one song on guitar. All apologies from Nirvana, because my brother taught it to me. I can do, like, some scales and stuff and some chords, but, like, I don't know how to play the guitar. Like, I wouldn't say I play the guitar. Like, I know stuff about the guitar. But that's the only song... I can play all the way through and Chris tried to make me play it when I was drunk at um, their house for Aaliyah's birthday and it took me like 20 years to remember it because I was like buzzed but I Is got it clip on now did you record it yeah Chris not gonna sing so me a song good. she's I gonna play me a song I don't, <laughs> I don't remember I'll play. give you a hint it starts right there ching 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 I don't remember He's trying. <laughs> I don't remember how. <laughs> this is funny. I know I haven't played this song in like a year or two. It's the only song I know how to play guitar until today. I don't remember how to play. Guitars and liquor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, yeah. So it came to me eventually, but yeah. Yeah. So that is 15 facts about Steph. I drew a smiley face and heart on there. I don't think you can see it. But that's that. Hope you guys liked it. I know I'm really exciting. Um, if you did like it, give it a like, I guess. Let me know. Let us know what you want to see. Please like, comment, subscribe. Go follow us on social media. Share our videos out there. Tell your friends to be our friends so we can all be friends. Because me and Brittany are very social people. We like to meet new people and message people and follow people back and stuff like that. So... If there's anything, I didn't have to adjust my bra the whole time until now. I like it. Couldn't have waited like 10 more seconds to fall. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this. We have so much in store for you guys, and we love you. Bye! Never let them see your friend. And if you need a friend to pick you up, I'll be around. And we can ride with the windows down. The music loud. I can tell you ain't laughing in the rap. But I want to see that pretty snap. I'm away, I'm away, I'm away down. I'm away, I'm away, I'm away down. Why do I never try to get me way down? I just want to know you know I'm away down. Back round. Pick a smile, we can stab on them. Back round. Pick a smile, we can stab on them. Like the people on the screen, you know the movie stars, picture perfect beauty queens. But we got dreams and we got the right to chase them. Look at the nation, that's a crooked smile, braces couldn't even straighten. Seem like half the races either on probation or in jail. Wonder why we inhale, cause we inhale already. I asked.